I feel like I should defend the liberal arts side a little oh, bit here. Uh, part of the mission for the whole school is to turn out well-educated, well-rounded students. And I think the accreditors would want to say this is a, uni a college and that certain minimum standards of attending college are required across the board to, to meet that overall standard. It's not just, and especially from the liberal arts point of view, it's not just about serving the workforce. There's another, there's another bigger mission too that's involved. And I think that's where that other attitude comes from. Mm -hmm. well, I, I don't think anybody's arguing that if a student comes in here with that goal in mind that wants to get a degree, yeah, you, you want to have certain standards that says that this individual has met those requirements. But I, I think what we're saying is that there are other students who are not interested in that, you know, uh, achieving that level and they shouldn't be excluded necessarily uh, that uh, if somebody can achieve something their their goals is, as far as getting a job or getting into the workforce that should be recognized as well so it's not it's not to um, eliminate those liberal arts requirements that those are certainly valuable for a lot of students but it's simply to expand I would argue the right for well I mean, from some standpoints, I think you could argue they've been in school for 18 or 12 years. Uh, they should know how to do math and English, you know, as high school graduates, hopefully. Nice thing. Um, so, you know, it should be at that level as well, too.